Hi, my name's Josh Hack from Mag Farming Systems. Today I'm here to talk about um, some grazing management and just some of the issues we've had um, through sowing um, this year and talk about you know grazing management through the winter and then setting ourselves up for spring. This year we've had pretty challenging conditions. The continual wet conditions has really caused some issues with our establishment of our pastures. And also, you know, whilst we might have some paddocks like here today that we have got some establishment on, um, most farms will have a lot less of those paddocks available to us this year. So we're going to have you know, a bit more of a feed deficit um, coming through winter and into spring. So it's about making sure we put things in place to, to manage that for our stock. Also we want to talk about today is you know, really looking at those plants this year that we have got up and going and established. There are going to be talks about some nutrition, also talking about grazing management. So the big thing with grazing management at the moment is um, just due to the solar radiation we've had this year, is pretty much one of the lowest on record. Solar radiation you know, impacts on our growth and establishment and time. That means that you know we've got less growth over a period of time. So normally when we're getting to grazing, like this paddock here we've got today, normally we can get on those paddocks at 40 days. As we can see here, we're starting to hit canopy closure now and it's been sort of 56 days, so we're a little bit behind. Now, there's a lot more paddocks out there that have been sown after this paddock, which was sown on the 26th of April. So those later paddocks, as we get closer to winter, are going to take a lot more time to develop before we can get on them and graze them. So we need to give them that rest and allow them to get towards that canopy closure so we can get the maximum production out of them. So be mindful of that, you know, what we're used to going in on, on 30 or 40 days to be able to do our first grazing, sometimes taking now 50, and if you're sown later, may even take 60, 70 days before we can graze it. That's really important for setting that plant up, making sure it's got its roots down and established so that we can go in and get a good spring out of it. The next thing is, once we do graze it, we only want to graze you know, down to that five centimetre um, residual with our ryegrasses so we can keep that energy in there and get that recovery back. And there's going to be some discussions today about the nutrition um, post grazing and also use of things like ProJib, which are going to be really, really important as well. But if you get those grazing management tools right, you know, that two to three leaf pre grazing or canopy closure or not going below that five centimetres is really going to set you up so you can actually get a good spring out of it.